one mile and what's up guys mkds okay pgl so today is my first video of reviewing samsung galaxy a51 so this is a one year experience review so let's get it and this is the phone so this phone launched in December 2019 but some countries they started to sell on the market January 2020 before going to the internal parts let's see the body this phone is not heavy which is 172 grams with this plastic bag and the rainbowish color that is called prism crush black and this phone also has prism crush white and prism crush blue which is a great color dual sim and expandable storage using micro sd starting from the up front with that display 6.5 inch super amulet which is a 108 pixel resolution and the 90 hertz at the same time it can be maximized up to a 600 nits which can be viewable on any lightning conditions but not as bright under the bright sun Protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass 3 with the underscreen optical fingerprint sensor. It is not that fast or quickly as the OnePlus or the other smartphones out there, but it is a better speed for $420 phone. I hope this also will be available on future. Like on the spec sheet, it has a 8 nanometer Exynos 980 chipset running 6 gigs of RAM or the 8 gig version, which has the expandable 128 gigs of storage running Android 10 1 y 2.5. Speaking of its camera, it has a quad camera setup 48 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. 5 megapixel micro camera and a 5 megapixel depth camera 32 megapixel wide angle selfie camera which features HDR and it can shoot 108 pixels 30 fps or at the higher resolution 4k at 30 fps now I am shooting on the rear camera 48 megapixel and the contrast the brightness are not as bright but it is 4k of clear video and higher resolution it has the loudspeakers and the 3.5 nanometer headphone jack which is pretty lame but I hope at the future A series will not have the headphone jack be wireless so that's my hope I have used this phone almost one year but this phone is actually nice or fine because I'm using the 8 gig version with a 128 gigs of base storage I also create some short clips using my phone but it didn't give any lags or I didn't see any lags or frame rate drops when I'm playing game or rendering a video that's actually fine for a $420 phone when I'm buying and after one year I need to review this phone I'll just think that why should I buy this phone and I'll just think let's try how it works and how the Exynos chipset is working or is it worse than the snapdragon or is it better when controlling battery and some other features so it's actually fine so 90 hertz and 10 80 pixel display which will consume a large amount of battery but not as much the 120 hertz display but it will consume a large amount of battery as i said so it has this 4 million amps of battery life which is typical and 15 watts fast charging which will fill up in about 2 hours 0 to 100 percent which is sounds great because this is a 420 dollar phone 15 watts fast charging means it's worth it actually so that's all for now keep supporting me and please subs the channel it will be a great so the mkds tip tag name has been changed for some reason because some people think that I'm just copying MKBHD is also a tech youtuber with 30 million subscribers but some people think that I'm copying him so we are discussed and this is the fixed tag name PGL so welcome